Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Geek Tech Industries Presents Imperian Galactic Survival. Uh, this is episode three of the Geek Tech Industries server start. So, yay, episode three. I haven't died yet. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at my stats really quick here. I'm now level 10, 19 kills, and zero deaths. Now, yes, I have admin on the server, but I have not, I swear to God, I have not used God mode once. I haven't even brought up the item menu. I, I don't even think I went into the tilde command screen. Now I think about it. I haven't needed to. Um, okay, anyway. Enough of the boasting. Oh, uh, base attack drone. Right, so I'll fill you in on uh, what happened since last episode. So you saw me go up into space, desperately searching for Prometheum. I actually did, shortly after stopping the video, I actually, within a moment or so, found the actual Prometheum asteroid out there. So now I've at least got it marked. When I came back down, I immediately got attacked by base attack drones after I had pretty much close to finished building this. So I was almost done building it and I got attacked by base attack drones. Uh, I was able to defend myself. Um, one of them flew away and I guess it's come back as a stray. And I finished building the base. You can see there I've got, um... oh, damn. Did he just blow up? He just blew up one of my guns. Uh, I had two there. You, you bastard, come back. Oh, I think he heard me. He heard me. Come on. Come on. Auto load. Oh, jump out of the way. Uh huh. I know your shenanigans. Take some bullets. Come on. Oh. So I built myself a uh, assault rifle, as you guys can see. And these frickin' drones are tough! Holy crap, how many bullets I got left? Uh, 315, okay, okay. You can see it was my... I had some sentry guns up, and he actually took out one of them there. Come on! Really? <laughs> Right, I, I used up like 400 bullets, taking out four of them or something like that. Come on. Yikes! Yes! Okay. Okay. Bloody drone. Took out one of my sentry guns. That's okay. That's okay. I'll use his parts to rebuild it. Nice. Circle of life, circle of death. So I think today, uh, what we're going to do after dispatching that thing, uh, that was some nice excitement for the start. Let's, uh, let's get my HV spawned. Uh, now I put in, um, all the, a whole bunch of, of drone parts, all the drones that I had killed last episode. Uh, I had a bunch of parts and I was able to actually put them into a, my lowly, oh, he's damaged. I should probably repair him really quick and get another one built. Maybe three more, put four out there, yeah. So let's repair this. 
So 50 hit points. 50? That's all. I thought they had 400. Sentry guns have 50 hit points? 50. I can one shot it? No, come on. That's. Is that a glitch? Is that right? I don't think that's right. Uh, well, regardless, I need more. So I cooked up a whole bunch of bullets for the HV. Um, also, because it was all parts that I put into the plan, like it was, it had a one second um, construction time to it. One second. So it's ready to spawn right away. I just, um, it's, it's ready to go. So we could throw that out right now. Um, no, actually, no, no, sorry, sorry. I need to get these guns going here. Let's not get sidetracked. We've got to rebuild some of our defenses. Uh, should I do a cannon turret? Minigun turret, HV, HV. So sentry, this does the most damage. 300 RPM, 300 RPM, much longer range and Hit points, 3,000. Hit points, 50. Wow. Okay. Um, so that they nerfed the sentry guns. I seem to remember them being 400 hit points. Uh, wow. I guess I, I have to use cannon turrets to defend the base. There's no way I can use one-shot sentry guns anymore. Okay. Okay, was that the last patch? Huh. Let's put these parts in there. Well, that's a little disappointing. Um, they were fun, the sentry guns taking out the... <laughs> I guess that, that's why, because they were too powerful. Ridiculous close range damage um, and 400 hit points, I guess, was too much. Okay. Whatever. We'll get these cannon turrets up. I'll have to make some 30 mil bullets then. So let's do 50 each. I need at least. That'll give me a thousand. Oh, give me a thousand. I think a thousand rounds to start should be pretty decent. We'll get this placed before another wave of drones come. Okay, so I guess... I mean, they take up such a huge space. That's my problem, right? I don't want to have them just exposed either. So do I take these guys down? Put them on the... Yeah, you know what? You know what? That's exactly what I do. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm actually going to deconstruct these. Um, and I think I want to put the... I think I want to put these like right here and the other one can I do it without no okay so I got to put some wall more wall blocks up let's do that then that one there now I want to get some foundation block down there nice okay okay It just doesn't matter now. Let's get that there. Uh, we'll put this right there. We should be able to fly right between them. We should be able to squeak right between them. Okay, let's get the ammo going. Get 
at least some of it into the... There we go. So they're now active on defaults, which will be predator and everything else, except for prey. Everything except prey, basically. Um, and that's fine. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Might need to put more blocks in there, though. Let's, come on. Are you going to let me? Come on. Come on. Oh, saw it there for a split second. Come on. Are you going to let me? Come on. Really? Really? No? <sighs> okay. I made a T2 drill with um, the Neo and and advanced CPUs that I loaded, so it's just awesome now moving dirt around. Auto picking up, for example, stone right now. Chip away at all this. Expose that a little bit more. Um, so, really, need to work on this area here. Okay. Hopefully, that doesn't expose my guns too, too much. I mean, ideally. If I could hang it from the hmm, I was just thinking if I built another one and did a detach from base placement on it, eh. we'll go with those two right now. If if I need to, you know, if one of them gets nuked, then then we'll deal with it, but. I don't like the fact that they're going to be really exposed without some sort of ground coverage. Because they're, they're going to be vulnerable getting shot at from either side. I don't like that. Anything coming out in front is just going to be pasted, but... Yeah, yeah, I need to put down one more and see if I can like sneak away around it. So we'll, oops, so I have all this stuff on me, I can just derp a derp. Oh well, it's not like I won't need to, uh, won't be spending that anyway of course I'll be spending it next thing I'll probably do in building will be like uh, the CV I think because I've got the uh, HV ready to spawn so which we'll do pretty quick here I just want to get the base defenses back up and running um, yeah I, I'm guessing it was the last patch or something because I swear to God that used to be 400 hit points I swear to God I might be hallucinating, but, and that wouldn't surprise me. Okay, anyway, let's get this on my toolbar. It's such a large turret. I want it to fire either side. If they were, if they were coming from over there, I'm thinking I need to put it over on this side. 
So like, wow, really? Damn. What's stopping it? Oh, drones. Damn it. Right in the middle? That sucks. I'd have to fly over them. I can't, I can't do that. That's not going to work in the middle. Damn it. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Where can I put it? Oh, I could do it right there, but that's horrible. Oh, what was it going to let me do? Put it on top of the other one? That's stupid. Um, can I put it? Oh, you know what I could do? Let's build, finish building the roof here. Get back out of the uh, radiated fog there. So I'm killing myself. I'm going to have to make a shower and clean up, I think. Okay. In the meantime, I think I just need to place this down. Because uh, I'm not going to launch out of here. Oh, that's scary. A wave. There's the next attack wave. Okay. So we'll deal with this wave. So now that... Um, let's grab... Oh, there's no bullets. Okay, I've only got 450. Well, let's put those in there anyway. So At least my turrets have a bunch of bullets. Let's get my gun out. We've got some action going on here. Nice! Next. Let's reload while I can. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Two hundred meters. Is he coming back? Or what's he doing? running away okay well let's quickly jump in there before I radiate myself to death and loot these guys get the parts nice nice and swim faster and get back in get back in okay so I think I'm gonna have to build a shower in my radiation level I think it'll naturally drop on its own eventually but I gotta keep going outside so okay let's do a shower I'm not sure if I can build one though. Let's take a look. I might not be able to. I don't think I have plastic. Hmm. I don't think I got plastic. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't. Hmm. Let's just put this stuff in there. I'm not going to be able to make any. Uh, yeah. Huh. Okay. So, oh. One of them's back. One of them's back. So, let's... Seaweed on me. I, I need to eat some. 
something really quick here. That's annoying. I mean, they kind of stick around and then, oh, more are coming in now. Here we go. The other ones, they're all coming back. Here we go. The other three are back. Okay. So this guy is coming in. Whoa. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Let's equip a weapon. I'm trying to hit it in the nose because it does more damage. Well, if he just wants to keep sitting up there, let me take pot shots at him. I'm okay with that. Come on. Come on. run and go get those. My radiation level is going up. I'm gonna get out of this radiation. Oh shit, there's critters. I'm gonna have to hurry. Before they see me. Come on. and hurt myself brilliant brilliant okay let's grab some uh, oxygen it's out of energy okay so I need a shit ton of oxygen so we'll just keep this thing going indefinitely there's no reason not to. Okay. So one of these guys was getting popped. Let's get back in out of the rad zone. Okay. Oh yeah, almost a thousand points damage. So these guys can take the hits. So I pretty much got to go with these big turrets for the time being to defend my base. What's going on there? Is it critters? Might have been critters. I'll take 
take a look in a second here. Oh, this thing was pretty beat up. Okay. How about you? Oh, he's beat up too. So that's the one problem with constant drone attacks is there's a lot of maintenance to keep up on sometimes. Okay, so what did they shoot at? Was it like way out there, one of the drones? I'm not quite sure. Okay, well... At least it's not radiation out there anymore. Uh, what we do need to do is get some more resources. So I'm really not liking how this is placed. I think I need to finish this off to make a proper tunnel, um, make some proper mounting up on the ceiling for the turrets, I think. I like ceiling mounted turrets. Yeah. Okay, so let's start working on that. We'll get uh, we'll get some more blocks put in here. So let's do we need more rocks or can we just dig? let's just dig really quick. Get this, get this done as fast as possible before the next wave shows up. Tab out, tab back in, so I can see when more enemies come. Okay, so let's... We can put blocks in now. There. Come on. Really? And there. Okay. And then... Come on. Really? There we go. There. There. Uh, up in the top corner. We need a block on top. Need to push that. So let's. I don't see any critters. Let's get rid of some of this. Get rid of this. Do more of this. Boom, and boom, and boom. We'll keep going across the top there. Yeah. Come on, the slightest little movement makes it move somewhere else. So it can be a little tricky doing uh, block placement sometimes with a twitchy drone. Uh, I'm going to have to dig some more of this out. exposing a bunch of my base here doing this, but I really need to get these blocks in here. Okay. Okay. And 
Get that going. Okay, good. Um, so I think I just want to punch that out more. So let's get some blocks under here. There, there, there. There, okay. Get that block in. Another one in there. Yeah, we want to just continue this. I know concrete is not the greatest for combat material, but it's cheap as hell. bringing this out. The deeper I, I make this where the guns are, the, the harder angles the, uh, the drones are going to have to, to shoot at it. So um, they'd have to come down in front more, right? So, if I keep pulling this out more, it's getting there, it's getting... It's looking like a tunnel anyway. <laughs> um, I mean, ideally combat steel is the best to use for something like this, but that's not available right now, so we're just gonna make do with dirt. because it's cheap like dirt. Okay, keep going with this. Come on. Could be a little twitchy. Nope, I don't want to extend beyond that. Okay. Getting there. Do I need to? Yeah, let's put more block in. that out a bit. Put a block in right there. Okay, so let's put some more blocks in here. About to run out of blocks. Okay, let's access the large constructor and get some more blocks going then. Um, not sure how many I'm going to need. 50, 50, let's try 50. Okay. They spin up pretty quick, as you can see, which is nice. Let's get that constructor. Okay, there's 10. That'll keep us going here. So we'll put there, 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 and 
there. Okay, okay. And... Oh, should I do one more set? Just extend it right out. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then I can mount those to the uh, upside down inside on the top uh, out forward a little bit more and then I'll drop down underneath them yeah yeah this should work out good let's grab those other blocks okay so let's do this can we get a block in there yep Oops. Okay. Okay. So there we go. I think um, I think that's really good enough for now. I can just replace concrete boxes. They get blown up. Um, it actually really obstructs entrance into the. I don't see any critters. I mean, we saw them. Oh, I guess that those were night critters. Now it's day, and they've fled. So yeah, I mean, it's just an ugly box, but it it'll function for now. Some um, should I paint it up? Maybe do like a yellow around the front. To make it more visible. Maybe. Okay, in the meantime though, I need to reposition all these. So let's disassemble. That'll allow me to keep them. I think I'm gonna lose their ammo though. I don't know if there's any way of getting that back. Oh my god. Yeah, I just repair it and then now I'm yeah. That's okay. I got enough Promethium, I can make more charges. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I've got 15 charges on me. Okay. Got that turret back. Let's get this one. So the T2, the Tier 2 uh, multi-tool is... Um, would probably two-shot these things. So way more efficient, faster. So you get a lot more kick out of charges. Oops, yeah, I hit my uh, wall. That's smart. Getting experience for doing that. See that? Interesting. Not very much, one experience point per zap with the uh, multi-tool. Something. 99 experience points and another three for hitting my... Okay. Uh, let's put these back up. So what we want... I mean, really... Really, what do we want? We want it so it's on the top, but back a bit. So we want them, so one, two back, three back, four, three, one, two, three back. I'm only gonna fit 
Oh, I can't fit. Because I only made it five wide. Oh. I can stagger them, I guess. Or I can do one on the... Yeah, let's do one there for now. Will I be able to get past that? Oh, that's really tight. No. I'm going to have to pull that forward. Damn it. Okay. Let's do that. So I guess I'm getting experience because I'm wasting resources doing this with the charges. So is that the... Is that the, the, the like, reason why I'd get experience for destroying stuff? I guess so. Disassembling stuff or whatever? Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I can only do it uh, two back. Okay, so let's try that again. So, one, two back. Okay. It's still really, it's going to be tight. It does start dropping there. Hmm. The other one. The other ones I should be able to like get on the back. To the back there. Let's. Can I do this? I think so. I think this will work. Okay. So that was one forward. Okay. I may have to pull that forward more. And it can pivot quite the range, quite the angle. So I, I think I'm okay with that if I pull it forward more. I think I do have to pull it forward more because that's just not a lot of clearance. Yeah. It's not a lot of clearance. But the claptrap can fly underneath those, I think. I don't know if... I don't think the... Um, the HV won't be able to, though. No, I'm going to have to pull that forward still. So let's do that. I really like the auto reload now. It's it's handy. Okay, so this is gonna be only one back. Okay. So one. There we go. That drops down. That drops down. That'll get right underneath it. Okay. That's better. Yeah, it's much better. That'll work. It'll just clear it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go with that. Let's, um... Let's spawn this thing in. Oh, apparently I get, I need to eat. Let's go to the food processor. We'll cook up some seaweed snacks. Need a few more of those. I might have to go uh, seaweed hunting again. What I need to do is get the HV out and get a whole bunch of promethium and magnesium, I think, right now. It's the two things I really need to get, and iron. Those three. Do a run on those, and then I'll go for the other uh, materials after. 
but that'll give me uh, energy. That'll give me ammo, basically, all my different types of ammo with the magnesium, iron, and promethium. Okay, so let's fill that up, fill that up. Fill all. Oh, look at that. Down to. Well, that's because it. Yeah, I wasted all those bullets. Damn it. Okay. Okay, so that means I gotta make more bullets. The 30 mil. That was a, a stupid thing I did. Out of magnesium. Wow, really? Oh shit. Only got 50? Oh crap. Oh. I need magnesium bad. Okay. Well, let's spawn my um, HV in then. It's time. It's time. So we'll go into the uh, blueprints. I've got it ready to go. I just got to click on the spawn and here we go. Nice. So there's my uh, my survival tooled HV. It's not really a combat HV because it's just regular steel on it. Although it does have a mini gun and a um, a mini gun turret and a mini gun on it. But that's not really what it's for. Uh, it's not for. It's not really for hunting with. Um, Although it can be used for hunting, it's not. That's not its purpose. Its purpose is the guns are on it for defense, pretty much. Um, so the turret, I usually just have targeting alien, which shoots down drones, um, and uh, you don't need to. You don't need to kill predator and prey while you're mining in it, because they don't go after you while you're in your vehicle. So. It's not that big of a deal, um, but you do have to go after the uh, drones, obviously. It, 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 I mean, Alien covers the whole broad spectrum of all the um, um, different combatants, except for, I don't think it covers planetary patrols. Now, I could be wrong at that, and I don't know if it, I don't know if it does alien bases i don't think it'll shoot at bases um so you have to like select turret or you know like mounted weapon or core or something like that but uh yeah usually i just turn everything off except alien so that's what i'm going to do right now let's jump in here and we're going to go into the menus uh i set up when i made this thing i set up a thrusters group um with everything that would move the, so including um, including the hover engines, which is the boosters in there too. Like we're talking the RCSs, see, is all governed by the thrusters group. Uh, the reason I did that is I can just snap the thrusters. Um, see, now they have a thrusters too. Well, I... <laughs> I think that was before they added that thrusters thing. But anyway, and I don't think the thrusters covers, I don't think their default one covers the RCSs, which is a pain if you wiggle your mouse around, all of a sudden you're you're jumping your ship around without it actually flying anywhere, it's just bouncing, so annoying. So I actually turn, put those into the thrusters group and turn that off. Okay, so let's just turn that off right now. Uh, we'll fill all. And we'll fill all in the O2. We'll fill all. Oh, I didn't grab all the um, stuff. So let's jump out. We'll grab that stuff out of the large constructor. Oh, my hangar door took some damage there. Let's see? Okay. And then we'll go back into. Oh, uh, I'll also grab my. Let's grab. I'm going to need um, seaweed. So we'll go into the food processor. 
Grab a blob of seaweed, because I can cook that up in the constructor. So we'll jump in the mobile constructor, put it in there. So I can actually make, um, I can make seaweed snacks in my mobile constructor. Same with uh, the basic food types, some bandages and coffee. So that's, that's really handy. Uh, you can also make biofuel with it too. So it's a very versatile, uh, it's, it's like a notch up from the survival constructor. I think it can do everything the survival constructor can plus make hover vessel and a think some more devices like some of the armor lockers and stuff like that and other stuff that the survival constructor can't make plus it'll uh, queue up all the um, the parts necessary and, and auto build those it's just not as fast as a large constructor and it can't build as many things as a large constructor so um, but it's handy. You can, if you all you had was a mobile constructor and an energy source, and were able to power it, you could you could build your whole world with it. Really, as long as you had resources. So, um, so yeah. I mean, it can do. It can. It can. It can. If all you have and you don't have a survival constructor is a vehicle that, and you have power, uh, you can you can rebuild your life with it. With this, anyway. Uh, I like them. I put them in every single vehicle I have. Um, even the cheapest, the cheapest vehicle I have has a, um, a mobile constructor in it. It's just, I always need it. Uh, okay, that's my uh, mobile constructor rant. Let's fill that up. 5,000 bullets, nice. So we are going to go into the turret now. Let's go to the minigun turret, and you. Oh right. Oh well, actually no, I was there. Did you see that? Why did it? Oh yeah. Okay, so let's just uncheck all this crap. Okay, so just alien, other faction, sure. If other players come to kill me, then I want this shooting back at them. Okay. Okay. Now is that enough for me to go? What have I got on me now? I've got. Uh, let's check my. I've got tons of oxygen. I should leave a bunch here actually. My Eva boost. I've already got one on. Although I'm not going anywhere, I should probably take that off. Just put it in my locker. Unlock some points too. Okay, so let's let's deal with this stuff on me. We'll go into the first cargo box. Will be my two. Well, um, Thirteen will be good enough for now. Okay. Um, not really going to need any biofuel, so let's put that back. We don't need the extra one of those bullets. Yeah, we'll do the standby stuff, that's fine. Fuel packs, okay, and I have a lot of fuel packs, so. Promethium and magnesium, here we come. Okay, so, not bad. We fended off some dudes. We finished off the uh, entrance to the base. I think it's looking pretty good now. We've got definitely a functional uh, tool set here. I think we just need to go pick up magnesium. And there's a bunch of it around. When I flew around on the SV, I uncovered a whole bunch. See, there's some right there. That's awesome. I'm just going to jump over there. The Promethium, on the other hand, where did I see that? Up there. That's not too bad, but it's right beside a power station. Damn it. And that one's beside the opportunity that's okay okay so okay so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that magnesium and that promethium we're gonna waypoint that 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, at this point, I think this is, uh, we spawned in the HV. I know, I know I said I was going to go out and try and get some resources, but, uh, I had to deal with getting the base sorted out. I didn't realize how nerfed the hit points were on the sentry guns. So we had to deal with that. That was more of an emergency than dealing with the, um, magnesium. And, uh, that's just, that's just meteorites falling. Not a big deal. Not the resource type either, unfortunately, but... Okay, uh, I am going to finish this episode here. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is probably off camera, I'll go and mine out those those uh, nodes because that's all. That's pretty boring stuff. I know. I know you guys want to see me jump in the HV and fly around and and kill some drones and stuff, but I'm going to be pretty dedicated going right to that. Uh, Right to those couple of resources and coming back with the with the goods so i probably won't it, it'll probably be pretty boring um if something is interesting i'll record it and and uh post that up as maybe a, a half episode or a, a you know a little um a little mini episode but uh other than that i think i'm gonna go get a bunch of resources and start the process of spawning in my um, CV which is right here let's get that blueprint up for it so I'm going to be doing the um, flying hangar econo uh, I've already got the Zass and Arrestrium because of the um, uh, all the drones that I looted same with the Neo I've got enough Neo I'll have to go back up there and, and uh, mine a bunch of Sathium uh, and then, but I need a shit ton of iron. Um, I'm probably going to go multi-tool down a civilian POI and get a bunch. Uh, so that's going to be another thing. I, I, I think what I'll do is I'll go mine a bunch of stuff, bring all that gear back, get that all processing. And then, and then I'll go out and do some exploring and maybe record going to a POI and looting it and, and maybe multi-tooling a bunch of it down and and potentially filling this up. I w at level 15 I can unlock it and this is fully warp capable so um, I'm going to send this to my factory and you can see there's a bunch of overflow that I had from the previous plan uh, so that's good. That just puts it back into your into the reservoir the pool of resources to draw to draw on when you when you uh, load something into the factory so it'll draw from that first um, which is fine I'm gonna um, get out of there let's go into the I can actually go into the large constructor at this point and grab a bunch of stuff out of here right now I'm leaving that in because that's ammunition I can make ammo with it so grab that I'll grab that, grab that, grab that. We're gonna grab that and that. Okay, so I'll show you. So it requires quite a few resources and by adding all these, so this adds to everything in there. That was just silicone. The advanced CPUs, yeah, I'll throw all those in. That was all Neo and some silicone. Flux coils with sathium and silicone. Um, I'm not going to put all the power coils in. I'm just going to pick this up and plunk one, two, and you can see that maxed out the Zass and Arrestrium. Okay, uh, we'll do all the cables. We'll do the capacitor devices, the computers, the motors, the steel plates, metal components, the pipes, the reactor. Oh, that was a huge ton. Did you see? how much those reactor cores were worth that was big uh, electronics okay so just from the loot alone on those on those dudes I was able to build my HV outright and um, put quite a bit into my CV just by killing those drones and looting them all uh, so awesome you can see how much how worth it is looting drones I mean people that don't loot their drones it's like well whatever 
you're just giving up resources. Um, and that's great because I, I mean now I just need to go get a bunch of sath. I only need you know just uh, just over five thousand instead of six thousand um, iron. And uh, chunk did a big chunk of the neo there, so I'm only going to need uh, what fifty eight. 58 Neo. Um, let's go back into the constructor. So 58 Neo. We've got 59 ore. That's 118 ingots. So we're going to do really good on there. So let's actually get those cooking, to tell you the truth. I don't have any other resources. We've got stone I can make rock dust out of. No, I don't need to right now. Okay, we'll just get this Neo cooking. Okay, so you can see I'm actually, I'm doing okay on copper and silicone. I'm getting pretty low on cobalt and iron. Uh, I'm completely pretty much out of magnesium at this point, and I'm, I'm low on promethium, so I need to make some more fuel. We're going to get a bunch of that queued up. Let's get 30 of those queued up, which makes 60. That'll be good. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave this episode here. We'll let that craft up, uh, and then um, I'm gonna take the HV out and and get a bunch more ore. Um, and we'll see you next episode. We'll be putting uh, we'll 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 go do some exploring on the next episode. I think uh, um, do a civilian POI and and loot it up and, and multi-tool some of the bits and pieces out of it that, that we want. We can put that right directly into the CV and make it spawn faster that way. Um, so that's going to be our goal for next episode. Uh, and yeah, we're going to keep surviving. So I am up to level 11 with 22 kills. I forget what I was at at the beginning. I think I, I had like 18 kills. So I, I got four more kills today. Um, one more level, four more kills. Yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, I didn't take a lot of damage, and I guess what I should do is make a medical bay too. So I might work on the bay a little, uh, the the base a little bit. Um, spruce it up a bit, maybe get some more stuff in place that I need, like the uh, medical bay. Um. Maybe a shower if I can find some some uh, corn or uh, or plastic. Um, but uh, yeah, that, we're we're probably gonna have to go loot that. A POI, we we should probably have a good chance of getting some plastic out of a POI. So uh, so that's gonna be our next goal, next episode. Okay, guys, uh, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, this is a live server right now. You can like join in. Uh, it's Geek Tech Industries. Um, I'm I'm on here quite a bit, um, and but as an admin, I'm not going to be giving away crap at all. Like if you if you die and lose your gear, you die and lose your gear. You're going to have to fresh start because I'm not giving you crap. I'm not going to give myself anything. So why would I give somebody else stuff? I'm not going to do it. Um, I mean, maybe I might come shoot you up and take your stuff though. <laughs> Yeah, I doubt it, but more likely you guys will kill me and take all my stuff repeatedly. Uh, yeah. Okay. This was a good episode. A little bit of excitement, uh, a little bit of uh, uh, tidying up, and we're ready to go with another uh, vehicle here. Um, and, I mean, I can put this up on the... Um, Right now, I just have it in, in my own um, private in inventory for for blueprints, but I could put it up, but uh, we'll see. Okay, guys, we'll see you next episode. Until then, have a good one.